Holy cat! I have never gone this fast on a trail before. I've got a Grand Marquis chasing me. I feel like, uh oh! So, like yeah. what's going on here? Well, rednecks. <laughs> a bunch of rednecks, yeah. <laughs> Getting together and solving we a problem with a fucking long, dude. How long you suppose yeah. it is from the road to here? It's oh, like, 10, 10 miles. 10 miles, 10 miles, tough trail, and then we're on the downhill. See the mud pit and then catch a rock. It stood up, I think, and just yeah. like popped a hole. Oh my oh, goodness. What is that for people who may not know what that is? This is the oil filter. Oil filter? And yeah. what did you put? So this is speed stick on the oil filter. Never heard of speed stick. Oil. It's oh, like a, stick. it's like a glue, yeah, right. like a quick sealing glue. So hopefully it seals up the hole, gets nice and hard and no more leaks. Where do we, um, right about there, like, should we right, go a little lower? Just, I think it's, yeah, right there. When you hear it crunch, yep. there you go. Yeah, don't yep. go too tight. Because it, it looks like it's rippling a little. Yeah. I have easy tight. tape. Should we take this off, put some JB Weld Vent type? It was JB, the whole easy bottom Easy fuse tape, I was told this. How do we do the bottom then? Can we, I, I think we screw the filter on with that there? Like, that I, I think so, it's going to be tight. Yeah, because the zip ties were on it. Yeah. All right, let's get a I shot. think there's a wrinkle. For that. There's for sure a wrinkle. Does the, how long does the steel sticks take? Is it going to be dry now? Is right. it going to be that dry now that we? Yeah, it's, it's uh, as tight as we it can. won't leak much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was yeah. pouring. All right. Who'd have thought? So what vehicle is this? This is a Mitsubishi Eclipse. A, an Eclipse. Yeah, 2003. Did you take those off-roading all the time, right? Right. <laughs> it did pretty good up until a few minutes ago. Something like not even surprised how far it made it. We left the Mitsubishi gang and headed to the next waypoint, the mud pits. We were almost to the halfway point of day one's route of the Gambler 500 Colorado. The organizer said the first day would be tough, and if you made it to the halfway point by early afternoon, you could probably make the whole route. We were on track to do just that, even with the stop with the little trail fix. I was hoping to make a quick stop at the mud pits. But you're a little muddy. You gotta try it. We made it. No, I hate I hate mud. Walkers help. I hate mud. <laughs> Alright. See ya. See ya. We're not even to the halfway point. No, you are not. You're not to the halfway point yet. And there's no way we're gonna make it unless we drive in the night. You will probably, it's, uh, I'm not sure what time it is right now. It's around three-ish. So it's around three. If you leave now and you motor on and get to the halfway point there, you'll be fine finishing in the dark if you keep motoring. So, yep. So it's a long course, it's rough. And exhausting. The next part is amazing. You don't want to miss them. You don't want to fool around and miss the second half of the day. The oil filter trail fix didn't hold. I would have loved to see if my easy fuse tape would have held. So their teammates in a grand marquee, some say it's kind of like a truck, broke out their tow strap and began to tow the broken vehicle back down the mountain. <laughs> Unfortunately, as they were towing, they ran into another issue. A tire plug, a twist or two, and some air, and they were good to go. We decided to stay with them to make sure they got off the mountain. I took the lead to stop oncoming traffic. There was a lot as other Gambler 500 vehicles were reaching the mud pits. It was one way in and one way out. It's a huge traffic jam. Yeah. Should we go or stay here? There's about 20 behind us. Yeah, I got to see. I was also in the lead in case the school bus needed to take over towing. Okay. I can't shoot very good video of this, but they're towing that vehicle behind me. They're hauling butt, and I'm like going faster than I normally do. Holy cat. I have never gone this fast on a trail before. I've got a Grand Marquis chasing me. I feel like, uh-oh. Okay, so we came to a gate. I had to open a gate. And then we came upon another like 10 cars. And this, I, I'm pretty sure it's a Grand Marquis. He's still frickin', he is hauling balls on this trail. I have never ran a tra trail so fast in my life because he is on my butt. 
Who knew? Who was driving? This guy. Okay, what is that? That is a 2001 Mercury Grand Marquis. I have never been outwheeled on a trail by a Grand Marquis. I have never yeah. wheeled that fast on a trail in my life. Oh, you scared? It's the, it's the best. Its name is Marcus Luckerberg. And like AC on, full comfort. It's incredible. So I have never been outwheeled oh. by a Grand Marquis before. <laughs> it's basically a truck. This is a body on frame construction. This is basically an F-150. It just looks like a Crown Vic. But I'm, you, I'm so hyped. I, I have never wheeled Bone that stock fast. in every way except for our terrible snorkel. And were you and doing slightly bigger wheels? Are you in four wheel we in drive? We were in the car. And we were no, it's rear wheel drive with a no. limited slip with the traction control off. Definitely not oh. limited slip. It's but not. It, it no, slips it very much on one. <laughs> it is precision. Oh yeah, track, though. it is the precision. It is the precision. Oh my track god, that was crazy. Where is it? Where? Once we knew the broke down Gambler 500 Grand Marquis Mitsubishi crew were back on good roads, we headed to the halfway point for day one. Our new friends in the Geo decided to call it a day at the halfway point and head back to camp as no one wanted to miss the night of shenanigans. Morning. What are you doing? Uh, putting my license plate back on. So why do you have to put your license plate back on? Uh, because I did a tractor pull with a Geo Metro. A tractor pull yes. with the Geo Metro. And I lost. Well, the bumper lost. <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel like I lost too. So, is that what they do at the Gambler 500? So, at the Gambler 500, they do generally find dumb things to do at camp. <laughs> <laughs> During the campfire? During the campfire, Saturday night, Friday night. Nothing but gentlemen around us. It was it was uh, it was peaceful. Nobody. I mean, the only thing you heard was was this symphony of snoring. And then uh, Saturday, it was just a lot of beer and tractor pulls with every car you could find. Right. Yes. So, how did you guys do yesterday? Uh, yesterday was a lot of fun. Uh, did pretty good. I don't think we ever broke. Not okay. yeah. No. No breaking on our end. Yeah. I want to thank you for saving us. We lost our <laughs> satellite phone and we had nowhere to go, so uh, we followed you. Yeah, and that was a foolish plan because we had no idea where we were going. <laughs> blind leading the blind over here. Yes. Right, but but we did good. We we, we did do good. Yeah. I think we went in the opposite way of everyone else. Uh, for we, some of them, we definitely did. We found ourselves uh, taking the longer, more peaceful route on pavement sometimes. And it's Josh and Adam. Yep. You guys saved us yesterday. Thank you. Hey, we really enjoyed uh, spending time with you yesterday. Hey! Gremlin's here. <laughs> if you're not here by the driver's meeting tomorrow morning, then we will come and facilitate getting you off the mountain. Don't leave here without provisions in the event that you cannot get back here tonight. This route is really long today and it's rough. It's it's gonna be a doozy. And us. Good luck. Hey. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Oh, yeah. So who's the guy in the fur? Is he the prom queen? He's polar killer. The Gambler 500 Colorado, a mostly off-road rally style navigational adventure using cheap, impractical, or fun vehicles. The general spirit is to take a beater or impractical vehicle and punish it over 500 miles on back roads, off-road, and some pavement over two days. After day one's driver's meeting, the drivers were given waypoints, latitude and longitude. These waypoints took you along a route and at certain points along the way, participants were told to take pictures as proof they reached each location. So what happened? Snapped a pan hard bar. Pan hard bar? A what bar? Pan hard bar. I don't know what that is. It's the bar that keeps your axle from coming out either Swing side. back and forth. Oh, so how are you going to fix it? Uh, well, <laughs> ratchet yeah, straps. ratchet straps for right now. Um, we got tape. a wrench in there, some bailing wire. A little duct tape. A little duct tape. Do you guys have food and oh yeah, water and all oh, that? Yeah. You're good? Oh, it'll dry back. Oh, it's just gonna be. But it's, it's just sloppy, like this. It's yeah, doing the butt. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> she just gets a little excited every once in a while. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> So we've lost signal, so we're following, I don't even know what that is. Some sort of little car, gremlin, something. So that's not actually a gremlin, it's a, a Geo. I don't know if you can see it in the rearview mirror. Anyway, we... Um, we lost our satellite. We followed them, and I, I thought it was a gremlin. Their satellite took them a different way. Anyway, we're, so we're backtracking back out. The organizers were right. It was a long day. The halfway point was coming up, and it was late in the afternoon. We were nearing the next waypoint when the trail started to get a little rough for a non 4x4 vehicle. I wasn't sure the Geo was going to make it through the trail, but it flew through with no issues. We decided to call it on day two and opted out of the rest of the race. We needed to get my Jeep back to the shop for a much needed repair. The driver's side shock mount broke from years of fatigue and those washboard forest roads. 